Now, meteorologist Zach Gonzalez is inside her home. Very smart move, my friend, because you said it looks like it's about to pour. <laughs> Yeah, it was raining just as I was setting everything up and the clouds are really dark right now. So I'm just trying to be very careful and you should be too at home. If you notice any of those strong thunderstorms or if you receive an alert or warning on your phone, which you can download that free CBS for weather app on your phone, you want to try to stay inside while some of those stronger storms roll through your neighborhood. And if you do need to run an errand or take care of something, try to push it off for later when we get more of a break. Although in Broward County, we're not seeing as widespread rain yet as we look from our live camera right now a mix of sun and clouds and the same goes from our key west camera however as we take a look at the satellite and radar you'll notice that not only do we have the clouds building but also we do have some showers and storms developing in spots so weston right now is dealing with a downpour coral springs get ready you have some rain headed your way as well as showers around oakland park and some heavy downpours headed towards Durant. Hialeah seeing a little rain, Little Haiti, as well as Coral Gables and Pinecrest right now just getting drenched, Dadeland and also through parts of Palmetto Bay earlier. And we're seeing the scattered showers through Isla Mirada as well as headed towards the lower keys. The wind right now is out of the southwest about 10 to 15 miles an hour and temperatures in the low 80s where the rain has fallen in Miami and Kendall. However, the upper 80s in Broward County and through the keys. As we look at the rest of the country, we have a storm system in the, near the Pacific Northwest. But look at this mess across parts of the Carolinas, the Mid-Atlantic and even portions of the Northeast and the Great Lakes. And this is a low pressure system that's leading to our winds veering out of the Southwest and also a plume of moisture that's just been hanging around and bringing us all those showers and storms the past few days. So here's a look at post-tropical storm Arthur, which is weakening and expected to move in the general direction of Bermuda as it's forecast to move southward. For us though, highs could heat up to 90 degrees, all depending on the rain and the cloud coverage but storms will continue to develop and there is a marginal risk of severe weather, meaning that we could see some more heavy downpours, flooding, lightning, gusty winds, even the slight chance of funnel clouds and small hail with some of the stronger storms. So as we take a look at the future radar, the models are giving us an idea of what to expect hour by hour. As we head into this afternoon, especially around 2, 3, 4 p.m., there could be some pockets of heavy downpours and likely through the evening hours will remain unsettled with some storms around. So keep in mind, we are in a drought right now. There's even a, a severe drought for parts of southern South Florida. So we'll welcome the rain. We just don't want to have to deal with any of the severe aspects of it. So tonight's shower is likely some storms, no advisories for boaters, but we are going to continue with a chance for afternoon storms through Thursday and the rain chance goes down by Friday into the weekend. Maribel.